Well, hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. This is part 14 of the Humvee Warthog project. Seven o'clock in the morning. Time to get to, to work. So the plan for the day is trying to just take care of some loose end. I'm going to take a walk around and show you guys what I've done the, the last couple of weeks. Actually, uh, the interior is pretty much done. I, I just, you know, have some loose end around the car to take care of. Uh, before we uh, we start grinding, uh, I, I did some grinding work, but not uh, not a whole lot. So this whole thing needs to be grinded down, and and fill in all the gaps. So uh, let's take uh, take a walk around. All right, I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I've done last week and part of this week. I get this entire area done, uh, fill in more spot wells grind most of it down already so that's starting to look real decent uh, the, the driver side done as well I'll walk around the truck and show you that you see this side done as well there's a lot of work being in here because it's tight space and of course you got a weld uh, in a pretty fairly uh, warm weather so uh, it was very uncomfortable uh, being in there now today it's not too bad today it looks like it's about to rain so uh temperatures cool down quite a bit so i'm i'm gonna do a bunch more grinding today uh now there's some some loose ends that i need to tie up now the roof area uh, i'm gonna mount uh for right now i'm just gonna weld in a mounting bracket uh where i'm gonna be uh mounting a uh, turret up there for different things probably gonna build a bunch of different cool uh, devices uh, a friend of mine uh, suggested a potato gun so I'm probably gonna do that uh, for, for the roof uh, we we'll, uh, would we'll probably do a paintball uh, a custom designed paintball gun so we can you know actually shoot in, uh, multiple rounds of different things so me and my son is gonna have some fun with this thing when when it's fully built take it to the backyard and start shooting some stuff so uh, anyway uh, now another loose end I need to tie is down here that's need to be all covered up with sheet metals and uh, at that point I'm probably just gonna start removing everything out of the truck the hood gotta go and then all the interior pieces gotta go all that's gonna be taken out and then we're gonna start the grinding process another piece that i need to fill right here so yeah no it's just like like little things i need to tie up uh the loose ends and then the, then we get to grind it i can see light at the end of the tunnel guys it's it's getting there all right guys so i'm going to start working on the fender well and to get the access to it from the inside it's probably better for the hood to be off besides i need to get that off anyway to start the grinding process so I'll go ahead and remove the hood. Okay, so the hood already been removed it's gonna stay here for a little while uh, while I'm working on the body the center console dash also been removed steering wheels steering column all that stuff been removed so 
the body is pretty, pretty empty right now. Everything in here is welded in. So just before I'm uh, gonna do the all the grinding, there's this piece over here, and then on the other side, part of the inner liner. So I'm gonna cut and weld it in. That'll be probably the last thing that I need to uh, get done before the grinding. It'll be the uh, a weld in uh, inner fender uh, liner, so it's not gonna come off. So fender liner goes in. This is driver's side. I still need to put another piece up here. We'll do that later. Top's done. Front end's also done. So at this point, well, I still gotta get the uh, passenger, passenger side done. But this looks like a good day for getting this body outside and start doing the grinding. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then when it gets a little bit hot, I'll just put push it back inside and, and um, put those uh, inner fender on, on the passenger side. So that's the plan for the day, just to get this thing outside and start grinding. It's time to grind. Now there's a couple of options as far as grinding the oil beads and, and sanding uh, the body down. So you can pick one of these, it's more like a grinding stone four and a half inch. Or you can go with something like this. Uh, this is a flapper disc design. I found that this works a lot better as far as like, you know, grinding down the well beads and get it to conform to the surface. I learned this from a friend of mine uh, and uh, I agree with him, it's, it works a lot better. So I'm gonna use this flapper disc configuration to, to grind the entire body down. These are a lot more expensive than these, but Believe me, it's, it's worth uh, to get these. Guys, I think I, I got about a quarter of it done. It's getting really hot out here, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. You can see the truck looks so much cleaner with, with it being grind. A lot of dust down here. I'm glad I'm doing this outside. Looking pretty decent. Now all the all all these corners right here. I'm just gonna fill it with bondo, so I'm not even gonna bother grinding it. I'm just gonna grind the uh, the edges. You see, a lot of it already been done up there. Whole front end pretty much done. Start to look really decent. Well, guys, I pushed as as far as I could. It's just getting really hot out here and humid. It's about 90, 92 degrees out here right now. I had a little bit more grinding done, but I'm just gonna call it quit for today. Go inside and get a cold beer. So I'm gonna post this video so you guys know what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. Now tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, I'm gonna go back out here early in the morning, do the grinding again. So next couple of weeks, all I'm gonna do is grind and uh, so not much going on i'm gonna get the grinding done and then I'll, I'll do another video on the next step but until then i appreciate you guys tuning in to kt garage if you like the content please like and subscribe thank you